Feedback, a mirror reflecting our actions, behaviors, and impacts, can be a powerful tool for growth, if we know how to use it. Welcome to Module 7, The Role of Feedback. In this module, we'll unlock the potential of feedback to enhance our self-awareness and spur personal growth. Feedback comes in a variety of forms, but it's the constructive feedback, aimed at building up rather than tearing down, that holds the most value for our development. Learning to distinguish between constructive and destructive feedback is crucial. However, it doesn't stop there. Equally important is mastering the art of receiving feedback with grace. Instead of viewing it as a critique, we ought to see it as a gift, a chance to grow, and an opportunity to see ourselves through others' eyes. But equally important is mastering the art of receiving feedback gracefully, viewing it as a gift rather than a critique. Receiving feedback with grace involves listening actively, asking clarifying questions, and reflecting on the feedback without immediate defense or dismissal. Now picture yourself as the receiver of feedback. The first instinct may be to resist, to defend, to explain away. But remember, feedback is not an attack, it's an opportunity to learn, to grow, to improve. So how do we master the art of receiving feedback with grace? First, we need to actively listen. This means focusing entirely on the person giving the feedback, showing interest, and seeking to understand their perspective. It's about putting aside our own thoughts and feelings for a moment, and stepping into their shoes. Secondly, ask clarifying questions. If something is not clear, don't hesitate to ask. Seek specific examples to better understand the feedback. It's not about challenging the feedback, but about gaining a clear, comprehensive understanding of it. Lastly, reflect on the feedback. Take some time to mull it over. Consider its validity, its relevance. Look for patterns across different feedback sources. Is there a common theme, something that keeps popping up? This could be an area for growth, and remember, it's crucial not to respond defensively. It's natural to want to protect our ego, but feedback isn't about right or wrong, it's about perception, and perception can be a powerful tool for self-improvement. So, instead of dismissing the feedback, thank the person for their time and their honesty. They've given you a gift, a chance to see yourself through their eyes, a chance to grow. This doesn't mean you have to accept all feedback blindly, not all feedback will be useful or accurate. But by receiving it with grace, you get to choose which feedback to act upon, which feedback will drive your growth. So, the next time you receive feedback, remember to listen, to ask, to reflect, don't defend, don't dismiss, embrace it, because feedback, when received with grace, becomes a tool for growth, a mirror that shows us not just who we are, but who we could become. Embracing feedback as a tool for growth allows us to see ourselves through others' eyes, offering insights we might overlook. Let's put this into practice with a feedback collection exercise. Grab a notebook and let's get started. Imagine three areas in your life where you're actively seeking growth. It could be your ability to communicate effectively, your leadership skills, or perhaps your creative flair. Just choose anything that means something to you, something you want to improve. Once you have those three areas in mind, it's time to gather some valuable input. Reach out to at least three people who know you well in relation to these areas. This could be a colleague, a coach, a mentor, or even a friend. Their perspective will provide you with a broader understanding of how you're perceived and where your strengths and opportunities for growth lie. When you approach them, remember to be specific. You might say something like, I'm working on improving my, I value your perspective and would appreciate if you could share your thoughts on where I excel and where I could grow. This approach not only shows your willingness to develop, but also invites a more focused and constructive response. Remember, the aim here is not to seek compliments or affirmation, but to gather honest, practical insights that can guide your growth. Now, once you've collected the feedback, take some time to truly reflect on it. This isn't about immediate reaction or defense, it's about understanding and learning. Write down the feedback you've received, and look for patterns. Are there common themes in what people are saying about you? How does this feedback align with your own self-perception? As you reflect, remember to be kind to yourself. This exercise is not about dwelling on shortcomings or feeling overwhelmed by the areas you need to improve. It's about gaining a clearer picture of where you are now, so you can map out where you want to go. You might find that some feedback surprises you, challenges you, or even makes you feel a little uncomfortable. That's okay, it's all part of the growth process. Allow yourself to sit with these feelings and consider what they mean for you. Remember the goal isn't to change based on every piece of feedback, but to consider it as valuable data for self-improvement. It's about finding a balance between who you are and who you aspire to be. 
It's about understanding that feedback, when given and received correctly, can be a powerful tool for personal development. As we wrap up this exercise, take a moment to appreciate the effort you've put into this. It takes courage to seek feedback, and even more to act on it. So well done for taking this step. In the coming days, revisit the feedback you've received. Think about how you can incorporate it into your life in a way that feels authentic and beneficial to your growth. And remember, the journey of self-improvement is a continuous one, so keep seeking feedback and keep growing. Remember, the goal isn't to change based on every piece of feedback, but to consider it as valuable data for self-improvement. Feedback is a lens through which we can view ourselves more clearly, understanding how our actions and behaviors are perceived by others. This is the heart of the power that feedback holds. When we receive feedback, we're given a snapshot of how we're seen by others. It's like looking into a mirror, only this mirror reflects not our physical selves but our actions, our behaviors, and the impact we have on others. Yet feedback is more than just a mirror. It's also a compass, guiding us towards personal growth and improvement. It highlights areas we excel in, as well as areas where we may need to put in more work. In this way, feedback helps us map out a path towards becoming the best versions of ourselves. However, it's important to remember that feedback is not always about changing ourselves. It's not about conforming to everyone's expectations or desires. Rather, it's about understanding how we're perceived and using that understanding to inform our actions and decisions. Consider feedback as data, as information. When we receive feedback, we're collecting data about ourselves from the world around us. And just like any data, it's most valuable when we analyze it, look for patterns, and use it to inform our actions. Moreover, feedback is a catalyst. It sparks introspection, self-awareness, and growth. It propels us forward, encouraging us to continuously learn and improve. It nudges us out of our comfort zones, challenging us to confront the parts of ourselves that we may prefer to ignore. But remember, the power of feedback is not just in receiving it, but also in how we respond to it. It's in our ability to listen without getting defensive, to reflect without judgment, and to act on the insights it provides. And so, let's embrace feedback. Let's view it not as criticism, but as a tool, a compass guiding us on our journey of self-improvement. Let's use it to become more self-aware, to grow and ultimately to become the best versions of ourselves. Because at the end of the day, feedback is more than just words. It's a catalyst for self-awareness and growth. Thank you for joining me in exploring the role of feedback. It's been an enlightening journey, hasn't it? We've delved into the profound impact that feedback can have on our personal growth and how it can serve as a mirror reflecting our actions, behaviors, and the effects they have on the world around us. We've also explored the art of receiving feedback gracefully and how it's not only about listening but truly hearing what's being said, asking the right questions, and reflecting without immediate defense or dismissal. Remember, feedback is not a critique but a gift, a tool that can help us grow and evolve. We've taken the first step today with the feedback collection exercise. I hope you found it insightful and that it offered you a fresh perspective on areas where you excel and where you could grow. Don't stop here. Keep seeking feedback, keep reflecting, and keep growing. As we wrap up this module, I urge you to continue this journey of self-discovery and development. There's so much more to learn and explore. Remember, feedback is not an end but a means to an end, a stepping stone on our journey to becoming our best selves. If you found this video insightful, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel. We have a wealth of content designed to help you unlock your potential and achieve your personal and professional goals. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos and you'll become part of a community dedicated to personal growth and development. In our next module, we'll delve deeper into the process of analyzing and iterating on feedback. We'll learn how to turn feedback into actionable steps and how to measure progress. So, don't miss out. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into personal development. Let's use feedback as a stepping stone on our journey to becoming our best selves.